we doing it? Ah, how exciting! There it goes! Oh my gosh! Goodness, I'm so excited. We've got a new Shopify counter that was kindly gifted off Shopify and we are gonna do a soft launch. We're not gonna tell anyone we're launching the website, but me and Mike have been frantically working on a brand new website and this video is actually sponsored by Shopify, but I'm gonna go more into that later. We are just about to do the soft launch of the website because the Sakura launch is going to start on Sunday and I wanted to get the website up before then, before like a big launch where there's lots of eyes on it. So I'm just sneakily doing a little soft launch and I thought we might as well Set up, oh, set up the Shopify counter that they kindly sent me. Ta -da! Look how good that is. It goes tick, 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 tick. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh, it's setting up. Look how cool this is. What the heck? Oh, it's loading. Yay! I need to find a spot for it because we've got some new boxes and new goodies to unbox like our Sakura launch. This is the bookmarks. They are glossy though. I got the wrong lamination so these are glossy but we'll unbox everything together. We've got a bunch of new things that we need to arrange for the Sakura launch but three orders. Oh. All right, it's official. We've launched the shop. It's a soft launch so I'm not really telling anyone I've told my patrons because I've asked them what they think of the site and if they could give me any pointers or tips before I put it out to everyone. But we got an order! We got up to four, so it's so, so exciting. This actually does link with our Etsy shop, so Etsy orders sometimes come through here as well. Um, so we actually added like an integration to our shop. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Anyway, we need to unbox all of the new goodies so let's unbox them together shall we yay first official shopify order can't believe it yay thank you so much to veronica who is our first official shopify order hello guys so i have pretty much been sat at my desk doing all the new stickers and lot like sending them off to print and i've left it a little bit last minute we are actually doing a launch this sunday it's currently wednesday so i have gave myself the deadline of the 30th of april to launch everything and i haven't even unboxed like all the stuff that i got from vorgris vorgris actually credited me some money to use in their store so i'm so excited to see what's inside here and we also have a bunch of notepads and everything that's arrived so we've got so much to do i literally have no desk space because all the launches have just like taken up all desk space also how cute is this i found a lava lamp in the charity shop for three pound i absolutely love it anyway but if something bad's happened it's just gonna have to um make do because i'm already missing the washi stands the sakura washi stands from this launch oh Okay, we got the Bumblebutt washi stands. Oh, so cute. Ta-da! This is the Bumblebutt washi stand. So they're going to be restocked. Froggo washi stands. Look at all these. Oh, let's put these down here. All right, these are the ones I'm really excited about. So first up, what should I unbox first? Okay, first up, we got some fawn charms. Or just charms in general. This is the first time I've ever got charms in. So... I'm a little, I feel nervous, I feel a bit sick. I think it's because the launch is so imminent and I haven't like finished it yet. Oh my god, this is look really cute. Let's have a look. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute. So here's a little glittery bumble butt charm. Look at that, I got both sided with resin and glitter epoxy. I don't know if I should have or not because it is a little like bulky but oh my god that looks so cute i'll show you a better shot in a second once i've unboxed them oh, a little sakura charm this is the first time doing charms so i wasn't sure how these were going to turn out <laughs> they look so pretty damn it'd be nice if i could get them like with a gold bit on the top rather than the silver bit i think it'd be nicer gold i think it would just suit them better than silver i ordered so these were meant to be foam grips but i had some issue with the foam grips and now we have magnets oh, oh these are 
so pretty, what the heck? Okay, so we've got a little glittery Sakura magnet. Ta-da! And then we've got a Bumblebee magnet, but in glitter. Ta-da-da! These are magnets, so they were meant to be pop sockets, but I don't know if you've been watching the development of this collection, but we had a nightmare with the pop sockets, but it was designed to go like this. I still think I'd really, really like to get them done because look how cute that would be. That's what the design were originally, what I had in mind originally, but now we've got little charms and two little magnets. Should we go put them on the fridge and see what they look like? Oh my god, they're such cute magnets. What the heck? We have this little storage unit near our thing. You can put your little notes on there. Speaking of notes, I've got a notebook to unbox. Look at them. Oh my god. I love it. Staring at them from far away and they look so pretty and so cute just on there. All right, for the magnets, they already come in this bag. Wherever we can, we try and reuse plastic um, materials or we like recycle like bubble wraps and stuff for your order. We use like scrap bits of materials to um, get it to you guys. And I was thinking because these are already bagged individually in plastic, I thought rather than me removing them and putting them in compostable cellos, I feel like that's gonna be double waste. Next time I order them, I might ask if they've got compostable sleeves or anything we can use. But I just got a business card there and folded it in half and then made like this little tab thing at the top. Um, and it's perfect for packaging. So what I'll do is I'll design it so it says catnip or it'll say magnets and then on the back it'll say like catnip.com and then I can use the plastic packaging that they come in rather than me taking them out, having more plastic waste and then putting them in compostable or other packaging. I might as well use the packaging that they're already in to save any more unnecessary waste. I also need to design backing cards for uh, what else? Oh, the little phone charms. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. Also, I ordered some bookmarks and I ordered them wrong. And I ordered them on gloss and normally I order these in velvet. And it's my fault, I picked glossy lamination rather than uh, velvet lamination. Ugh. Looks really cute. But I think I might put these in orders free of charge until stocks last. This one is Bumble Butt. Ta da! Next up, we've got the notepad phone box, so let's unbox these. Hopefully, these have turned out okay. Yay! Oh! Oh, yeah, the print quality is so nice. Ah, I want that one for myself. I think I'm going to keep that one to myself. It's been such a long time since I've got notebooks in my store, so it's nice to finally get one more. Yay! Ah! <laughs> looped these phone charms through my case just at the top there because mine doesn't have a little phone charm section but look how cute is it I've got a little saccharin bumblebot on my phone I think I might just have one decided to cut these and print them myself uh, to save some money. Ooh. Sorry guys.
do these all myself. Ta da! Ta -da. It's gonna take me a while. morning everyone oh my goodness thank you so so much for the support on the new website launch it feels amazing to finally get my own website up and running me and Dean and Mike have absolutely been loving seeing everyone's orders come through and I just wanted to say a huge huge thank you as well for Shopify for sponsoring this video I can't actually believe how the stars have aligned you guys know I have been building this website and we are finally here we finally have our own online store which just feels like it gives me so much more flexibility so much more opportunity as well and it just generally feels like it is a lot more professional for those of you who don't know what Shopify is it is one of the largest e-commerce stores and they power small businesses all across the world from big businesses to small businesses alike and when I was thinking about opening my own website I did a lot of research into who I wanted to use and some of my favorite small businesses businesses and creators use Shopify as well so I was like this is a no-brainer for me I absolutely have been loving it so far one thing me Mike and Dean have been absolutely loving is the live view you can see it just feels like it's so much more intimate I can see where you guys across the world I get to see what you guys are doing I get to see what top products you guys are liking it's just been so so nice to see you guys enjoying the website I feel like now having my own website just feels so much more professional I absolutely love how it looks as you can see I'm smiling throughout this whole thing because I just love having my own website it's been something that has been a very long time coming if you have the idea to build your very own website I honestly encourage you to start now and if you're thinking of opening a beautiful site just like this one you can go ahead Head and head to shopify.co.uk slash catnip and I'll also leave a link in the description for you guys. Don't hold it off any longer like I did. Honestly, it's been the best thing that I've done for my business. A huge, huge thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this video. It has been such a weird like alignment of fear and now we need to get to work on finishing the major shop launch which is the sakura collection so i still need to package a load of stuff this bench looks clear because i've literally just pushed all my products come and have a look at this all of this is just like laid out on the bench over here that i've just like scooted it out the way but we have all the stands to do i need to finish um up making these magnets that we were doing earlier in the vlog we need to do um all these i got these bone things off amazon uh, to help me fold these but i don't actually know if we'll need this mike and dean are working away in the studio this is just what it's like when it's a launch and this has been the biggest launch yet today we also have another task and that is to create the new sakura mugs and the smaller mouse mats for the sakura collection so we've got a lot to do so let's just get straight into it because i have no time to waste So cute. Ta -da. And this is a bigger, chunkier mug if you like me and like larger mugs. This is like a bigger one. I don't know if I'll be able to get this in time for the launch because we don't know if it'll fit. Turn it on, no, turn it on. Yeah, it looks like it fits in this one. Time to experiment. Yeah, look, 
perfect fit. Actually, it's a bit, it's a bit big on the ends. Oh, mind you, it's not quite tall enough. I'd like it more to the top. But it has more white on the top and bottom. Yeah, but that's, that's the curve just there anyway. I know, yeah, but then there's a gap. I was going to do a full bleed. My camera battery for this product photography camera has run out, so I'm gonna have to use you guys. Okay, it's currently crunch time. We have two hours to go to the launch, actually, an hour and 55 minutes. We have never uploaded to both. Etsy and Shopify so we're trying to sync both of them. I'm currently halfway through a Subway salad while I'm trying to do it. We've got Mike also uploading listings. We've got Dean who's just over there sorting some listings out. 
and this is the tightest I've been. Before we had this launch that we did and we had to postpone it and I was on Instagram like, I'm so sorry we're behind, but I managed to get all the photographs edited and I think I'm probably gonna have to do some edits after the launch, like just to add some extra bits, like I want titles that say waterproof stickers, for example, but I didn't have time to add the graphic design to that. So we are now just trying to publish all of the listings and save them in drafts and then it should be time to go live. So I'll keep you guys updated. All right, we've just finished uploading all the products to the Shopify store. I am now going to upload them onto Etsy, but the problem is with that is we actually haven't done it before where we've done two. So Etsy might actually be a slight delay from the website launch. Uh, but I'm nervous and I'm excited at the same time, but thank goodness we got the products up and ready because honestly, I didn't think I'd make it. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a banner that says Sakura Collection. And I think we might already have a draft collection saved. Have we got a draft collection saved for the Sakura? So it'll say Sakura yeah. Collection. Right, we're ready to go. We've got so many products. This has been one of the biggest launches that I've ever done. And it's took me such a long time. And literally I had to just give myself a deadline. And this is why we're working so hard on like a Sunday and been working all weekend. All right, well, one minute. One minute to go, we've got a whole audience here. <laughs> we've got like Ashley and everyone in the studio, Mike and Dean. You can see all the people across the world on it. So we've got some people in Europe, but unfortunately they won't be able to check out on our website, which I feel really bad for, but we've got a lot of American visitors over here and a lot of people in the UK. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Oh, okay. Are we doing it? And then I have to publish a site, so I've basically put the site as like unpublished. And then I'm gonna publish. Is it live? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Now I'll publish. Sakura. This is so cool. Oh! Yeah, no, that's just one. <laughs> it sounds like loads, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, there's one. Okay, Mike, you sort out the. Thingy -majig. This is so cool to see. 21 active cards, six checking out, one purchase so far. 44 people on the website. <gasps> how exciting. Ah, how exciting. 31 active cards. It's so cool to actually be able to like, you know, see everything. Oh dear. Ah, yay. We can see on the site there's loads of people from the UK. Wow, thank you so much guys. 37 active cats that you want checking out and 15 purchased. Whoa, look at it now. You can see all like the pew, pew, pew. There it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, that went up loads. What the heck? Angel number, <laughs> if anyone cares about that. Yeah, it didn't last very long. Oh, it's gone up to 113. Oh, we got everything uploaded to Etsy. So that is all uploaded an hour after the website, but we managed to do it. Oh, it's going up again. It's so cool. Oh my God, I look bedraggled because we have just been working this last week. I've got like an eye twitch back and everything. We've been working like crazy to get this done. Um, but it feels so good. I'm just watching the live view now and it's just so, so cool. Thank you so much for everyone who supported this launch. I know you guys have been, oh, ah! You guys have been on the journey as I've been building this collection up and it's been about three months in the making this collection. It's been the biggest one yet. I can't believe it. We're actually nearly sold out of the large mouse mats. So <laughs> that's crazy. We've actually sold like 40 already and we only ordered like 90 in. Well, actually we ordered 100, but then we ended up keeping loads for ourselves. But we will be ordering some more in, but we'll probably have to do some sort of pre-order. Um, it may still be up by the time you're watching this, so you might be able to manage to get some of them and also the Sakura pin collections. So how exciting, I've loved this launch. This has been really, really exciting. And normally when I show you guys the shop launch, I show you kind of all the behind the scenes of me prepping for it, but I don't actually show like the live 
like reaction to it and we, I kind of feel like having a party because normally when I used to do it you never could see like the live view or anything but this has just made it so so much cooler so a huge thank you again to Shopify for sponsoring this video what a amazing collaboration it's been and I hope you've had fun uh, watching this quite stressful shop update but I'll see you next week when we will be sorting out the studio and putting everything away and I also have some kind of exciting and new news about the catnip studio so i'll see you next week all right then thank you so much for your support and for watching i'll see you all very freaking soon all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye